There's some big news from, let's call it a correction from last month's data. Two markets saw the price gains actually pull back, while one market segment actually saw the appreciation rate grow. The Massachusetts real estate market continues to be very strong, one of the strongest in the country. If you're looking to hear about the Massachusetts real estate market data for single family homes, condos, as well as multifamily properties, then you are in the right place. Now, the spring market, well, it started a little earlier this year. It hits off to a big start. This is going to be a very strong spring market, even with interest rates not going down. I'm personally still in the camp. The Fed doesn't cut in June, but time is soon going to tell. There's no way it's happening in May, so just take that off the table. I continue to be in the camp that the Fed can't lower interest rates because if they do, then the cost of housing is going to skyrocket and lead to even more inflation. I was relieved to finally hear some others start talking about this recently as Barbara Corcoran actually started to talk about, well, some economic comic sense that I've been preaching for a while now. Real quick, my name is Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you're planning on buying or selling a home in the near future, or have any real estate questions, then know I'm here to help, and it'll be a pleasure to speak with you. Let's start with the single family market. In March 2024, we saw 2,290 single family houses sell for an average sales price of $771,000. We fell a little short in sales, but the big news is actually in a little revision to the February data. More on that in a couple moments. The 2,290 single family homes that sold in March was 6.2% off of last year's sales numbers when we saw 2,442 in sell. Now, the big takeaway is that the sales levels of 2024 continue to mimic the sales levels that we saw back in 2023. This will be a very similar sales level year as 2023. But as we very well know, sales levels and prices, they don't work in tandem. Home values are tied to the inventory levels, not sales levels. The rate of year-over-year -year appreciation dropped a bit from the levels that we saw in February, but still showed a very respectable 7% year-over-year appreciation rate for March of 2024. With three months down, we have now seen prices increase 8.5% in 2024. In case you missed that, one quarter of 2024 down, and we are seeing single-family home prices in Massachusetts up by 8.5%. Now, onto the yearly sales comparison levels. As I said earlier, we fell short of last year's sales levels. So 2,290 single-family houses sold put us within range of the 2,000 level sales level range. This has ultimately become the norm, and it's going to continue to be this way for some time. It's time for people to stop looking at these sales levels as a negative. The higher interest rates are keeping people in their properties longer. That's not necessarily a bad thing for these property owners. We knew that the streak would break. Last month, I had talked about how I actually felt it was going to be the February data that was initially going to kick the 30-month year-over-year sales decline streak. Well, back then, I said it didn't happen. We were off by half a percentage point. Well, as data continued to trickle in, and after we already had done our video, it turns out that February was the month when the year-over-year -year sales decline streak finally came to an end. This month, we're back to the old habits with our 6% year-over-year sales decline. But the streak of sales declines, like I said, it came to an end. We can expect to see this year-over-year -year sales levels graph to go up and then down and up and down through the next year. I don't really see the trend of long-term streaks either way, whether it be positive or negative in the future. The year-over-year -year sales decline trend may have broken, but the price increase streak, that one didn't, make that 45 consecutive months of price increases. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. I don't see any way that this trend it comes to an end this year. Just three more months, and it's actually going to be an official four years of pricing gains every single month. It's simple economic math. Prices are going to continue to go up and up and up because of inflation. It's that simple. For as long as the government is printing trillions of dollars, then home prices are going to continue to go up and up and up. We don't play with the data here. So this chart, it's correct. But I have to say that there really needs to be like a big asterisk right next to this one. Year over year, our inventory levels are down 14% for March. But this decrease that we saw in 2024, it's thanks to Easter weekend being at the end of March compared to the first week 
of April in 2023. New listings were down in the last week of March, which pushed the overall inventory levels down. That inventory number saw a big pop above the 2023 levels after that first week in April. I know it doesn't really show it here, but the inventory trend is one that inventory levels are actually increasing. And it's something that we should really keep our eye on. Carry over what we were just talking about in regards to the inventory levels and how they are kind of are artificially low for the end of the month. You can really see it here as the blue line has been well above that red line for pretty much all of March, actually all of March and some of February. And the levels were actually growing. That pullback was just thanks to Easter. April will be an interesting month. What does the inventory build that we see every single year? But what's it going to look like? Will it be as aggressive as 2022 or will it be a more lackluster inventory growth that we saw back in 2023? I don't see it being anything like 2022. People were front loading their real estate activity due to that fast increasing interest rate environment. But I do think it will be bigger than the inventory gains that we saw back in 2023. So essentially, I'm thinking it's actually going to look something like, well, in between 2023 and 2022, which would actually be very similar to what happened in 2021. Now look, all this is projection and time's quickly going to tell, but inventory is increasing. Either way, inventory levels are going to remain low. They will be near all time historical lows. And this matters because as we know, it's inventory levels and prices. They're the ones that are correlated. As of today, we have 172 fewer homes on the market than the same time back in 2023 and 422 more houses on the market than we did back in 2022. But to put all this in perspective, the week before Easter, we actually had 200 more houses on the market in 2023. So you could really see the difference there. Quick recap. So sales in the single family market were down by 6%, while inventory was actually down by 14% when compared to last year's numbers. Home prices did exactly we have come to expect for the spring it is following the trend perfectly and prices will go up month over month next month as well all the way up until june then it's going to start pulling back it's a trend that's why year year prices were up by seven percent march was another great month for massachusetts homeowners we have the condo market and the multifamily market coming up next but first any chance you could just do me a huge favor as it just helps with the YouTube algorithm. Can you hit that like button right down there? It just makes a huge difference to me as well as the channel. And while subscribing, if you haven't done that, you're enjoying the comment. That one doesn't hurt either, so please subscribe. For the month of March, we saw 1,191 condos close in Massachusetts for an average sales price of $711,000. Let's start with the sales data. After a half percent year-over-year -year increase last month, we are back to our old games with sales levels being down. We sold 1,191 condos in Massachusetts for the month of March. This was a 10.5% decrease over the 1,330 condos that sold in March of 2023. Year to date, we have seen a decrease in sales levels of 13% for condos in the state of Massachusetts. Like the single family market, we actually fell short in March we would actually need to go back to March of 2015 in order to be at the sales levels that were equal or less than the levels that we saw back in March 2024. The 1,191 units sold is not pretty, but it's not ugly either. I just don't get wrapped up into the sales levels like other people do because inventory matters so much more. Just like in the single family market, you saw inventory levels pull back to the last week of March, which is just throwing off all of this data. But nonetheless, we're going to plow through because you can still see the trends. The inventory levels of 1,985 condos on the market at the end of March is a 5% decrease in inventory levels year over year. These inventory levels are really higher and we will be able to visually see that in that weekly inventory comparison chart, which is coming up. Comparing our inventory levels to the 2015 when we last had similar sales levels, then that would mean that inventory levels are only 1.7 times higher than they are today. Here is where you can really see the inventory growth in the condo market, though. The year-over-year -year inventory gap gives a better illustration of the increase that we've really been seeing in the condo market for the last month of March. As of the end of the month, we have 10 more condos on the market compared to the end of March of 2023. 241 more condos than compared to the end of March of 2022. I think a better representation of the inventory levels in the marketplace are when you actually look at the numbers the week before the end of the month. At this time, you had 163 more condos on the market than compared to the same time in 2023 and 406 more than when compared to 2022. 
As a year-over-year -year comparison, sales were down by 10.5%, but the amount of new listings were down as well. This year, we had 1,902 new listings hit the market in March. This is compared to the 2,212 condos that hit the market in March 2023. Last month, new listings were up 16%, but this month, they're now down by 14%. Home prices, they were up in March, which was to be expected. The average sales price of $711,000 was 7.5% higher than the average sales price in March of 2023, when it was $662,000. It was another strong month for condo appreciation, and it was a great way to finish off the first quarter of 2024. The condo market, it remains strong. It's going to be a good year for condo owners in Massachusetts for 2024. And now for my very quick but shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, then reach out to me today as it would be a true honor to help you and guide you through the process. Now on the multifamily market. The multifamily market had another great month as it ended the first quarter of 2024. 2023, what? Yeah, that's pretty much the multifamily market's thoughts on that year at this point. In March 2024, we saw 402 multifamily units sell for an average sales price of $798,000. Just like the single family condo market, the multifamily market also saw a year over year decline in sales levels. What a surprise. The 402 units sold was 8.6% decrease in the year over year sales levels for March. Now, year over year sales levels are down total by 2.6% when you look at the total first quarter of 2024. The 402 sales puts us on the sales levels of March of 2015, just like the condo market. Again, I'm not losing any sleep over the lower sales levels. It's the inventory levels that matter the most. So let's take a look at those inventory levels. Broken record here, inventory levels are down, put a big asterisk mark next to it. Inventory levels at the end of March of 2024 versus March 2023 were down by 11.5%. But take a look at that year-over-year -year weekly comparison chart. Inventory levels were down, but the last couple of weeks, they have actually been above the inventory levels of 2023. That's a better indicator to give you an idea of what's going on in the market. The amount of new multifamilies coming on the market, that was up a little. New listing levels were up by less than 1% year over year as there were 585 newly listed multifamily properties that came on the market in March 2024 compared to the 590 that came on the market in March 2023. When you compare inventory levels today to those of March of 2015, then today there are 2.9 times fewer multifamily properties on the market. It was a great month for multifamily properties in Massachusetts. We eked out the March 2022 sales price high and actually hit the second highest average sale price ever prices were up year over year by 9.9 percent in march it's been a great quarter for multifamily property owners in massachusetts when you look at the first quarter year over year stats the multifamily pricing is up by nine and a half percent those are some strong gains for the multifamily property owners it continues to be a favorable trend for multifamily properties and, well, it's welcome news after that turbulent 2023. Want to talk about your own personal real estate needs? Again, it's Jeff Chubb. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a home in the next 9 or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you and just find out a little bit more about your real estate goals. And ultimately, what are you looking to accomplish? If you know of anyone that is thinking about making a move, buying or selling a house, that I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind and passing along my contact information. It's the biggest compliment that I can receive. You can also visit youtuberealestateagent.com and find all of my contact information in the description below right down there. Until next time.